Hey guys, Kirby Smith Lightspeed Construction coming to you today here from the greater Asheville, North Carolina area. And we're looking at an approximate 25 year old three tab shingle roof. Now this is typically called a 25 year roof and we can see we've gotten about 25 years out of it. One of the things you're gonna start to see when a roof is worn out is that it's gonna be showing signs of uh, shiny and that's gonna be fiberglass, fiberglass shiny. We see that in several locations and kind of all throughout the roof. And it's not everywhere, but it's spotty, shiny fiberglass. Uh, also, this roof is about, oh, 60 to 70% granular loss. And one of the reasons that it might have been accelerated just a little bit is that there's not a ridge vent, really not great ventilation in this roofing system. You'd want the air to be able to escape out of the ridge of the roof. That would go for back here as well. In the front also and certainly along the main ridge as well. So ridge, roofing, um, shingles, all this is looking at being replaced on this property. And we certainly wanna get a great bid on this and get our customer very aware of how we're gonna assist. And we'll certainly add new pipe boots. You can see that that pipe boot is um, failed and, and cracking. Um, one of the things I'll tell this homeowner is that I would probably slow walk gutter guards. There was a gutter guard product that was put on this house and you can see that right over here. And y'all are probably some of y'all out there are familiar with this particular product. And so I've got a little bit of feedback on does this product work? It's the gutter guard and gutter in one. This customer hates this product. It's kind of backfilled full of stuff it's had major problems these are inundated lifetime warranty later it didn't last five years company came out and said yeah we can't help so this particular product is one we're going to pull off the house and dispose of that's the gutter guard gutter combo i'm going to suggest not to put a gutter guard back on this house simply because there's so much debris that collects on this roof this roof needs to be cleaned once or twice a year minimum and so we would suggest to clean the gutters at the same time. Really not that big of a deal, but it just needs to become kind of part of how this is handled or you end up with growth, lichens, algae, stuff growing on your roof like you're seeing here. And that's gonna cause some damage to shingles and roofs over the, over the not too distant future. The other thing is there's a little bit of failure at one of the, one of the boxes for some fascia and soffit. I don't think that's gonna be that big of a deal to repair. Hopefully not anyways, but guys, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Greater Asheville, Kirby Smith, Lightspeak Instruction. Call me. See you guys.